This is Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Pisces from February 21st to March 7th, 2020. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the beginning of this time period? Strength card. The Tower. Ooh. And the Emperor. So much going on. Fifth dimensional energy. Like there's a lot taking place above. <laughs> it's it's almost like you made some sort of demand well you made a, a big demand in terms of this connection here this person they they're rocked by it they're shocked they they it's almost like this affects their confidence like you showed your power in terms of who has the power in this connection by something that you've done. This person is, is awestruck. Like their, their understanding of how strong they are is what's being shattered here by you. Let's clarify. Clarify this emperor. What did you do here for them? Tenacity. Ooh. For you? Loyalty. Yeah, you, you didn't give up. You had some sort of goal and you, it's kind of, it's like you had the willpower to, to climb the highest mountain. Like you had that tenacity, that, that loyalty to what you wanted and you proved it. This person can't believe that you've done something. It makes them feel inferior in a sense. I'm getting the sense that this is someone who thought that they were superior to you until now. What happened with, with, let's clarify that this strength energy, what is this about? Like you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries or a Scorpio here. Queen of Swords. The Empress. More fifth dimensional energy. And the Four of Wands. This person, it's kind of like they were, they were convinced in a way that... Like, totally exterior to you. Like, the, the, their strength, their power was based on something not even remotely attached to you. Like, they, they may have a system, a social system here. It seems like that, that, that there is perhaps another, another woman, could be an air sign that, that has a lot of influence on your person. It's kind of like they give your person advice. It's almost like they serve your purpose, your person in a way. They make your, your person feel very special, very, very much in control. We see the Empress here and you outmatched your person. Your person thought they were the Empress. That's because of the, the this third party this someone who gives them loyalty in a sense gives them advice loyalty mature woman but it, it's this energy where your person was almost nurtured to the point of feeling above everything and then you came around and you you showed what true power was Loyalty on your end and loyalty on their end. Something to do with loyalty here. Loyalty to a cause, loyalty to accomplishing something. 
Very interesting. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords on your person's end. For them, or for the outside influence, friendship. For your person, order. Yeah, it's like your person commands somebody. It's like a friend, but it's more of a subservient friendship, right? Like your person has control over somebody. Somebody is immensely loyal. And somebody who has some status to them as well. But in a way, looks up to your person. And it makes your person feel even more special that, that somebody like that would, would appease to them social circle friendship and then you came along here wow so what is taking place as a result of this person losing their what seems like belief in themselves like what, what's resulting of this in the next two weeks it seems like a big situation page of wands Judgment and the Three of Pentacles. This is in regards to collaborating with you, to, to, to working with you, teaming up with you. You establish order here. <laughs> Listen to my voice get like so dramatic. You establish order here. This person, they're. they're they, they, they look up to you now. They, they, they realize that they need you to help them. It's kind of like that they're, there's something that they need from you now. There's a judgment taking place here in regard to what this person is looking forward to, their, their, their vision. It's kind of like this change of vision from what it was before. Let's clarify, let's clarify the judgment for them, duties for you, contradictions, yeah, they've changed their outlook, they realize that they need you for something, but it's their duty to, to, to make some sort of move or to make Something that they want to do. This person essentially wants something from you now, whereas they, they didn't see that they needed anything from you before. This is someone that, that felt that they were there, that they were superior until you proved them wrong. And that's where the contradiction comes in. Duties. It's almost getting the sense that, that they're going to be listening to you. You're going to be dictating what's taking place? Interesting. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or, well, we talked about... We talked about the Leo and the Scorpio. Or a Scorpio. So, yeah, definitely fire and Scorpio energy. Aries, Leo, Aries, Scorpio... Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Yeah, one of those signs there. Contradictions. What does this person want from you? Let's figure this out now. You have a vision. They're going to be put... Oh, Ace of Wands flipped right out. There's something new that they want to start. Three of Swords. And the Hierophant, this Three of Pentacles, loyalty on your end. You might have somebody in your corner. And they... Whew, you're, you're committed to them. It's almost like you're showing this person that, that you don't need this person anymore. And now they're realizing what they could have with you. Somehow I'm getting the sense that you have somebody in your corner as well. And 
That's that's the commitment you're in. We see the three of pentacles. This person wants to come in and join you, join your tribe. And you're you see no need for them anymore. They want to, to start growing something here. The tables have turned. You you showed somebody up big time. Big time. You may have needed them in the past, but now it's kind of like you're you're realizing you don't. Let's clarify this three of swords. For them, moderation. For you, hard work. Yeah, you you achieved something so great that, that you, you did it on your own or you did it with somebody else. Like we see the, the, the three of the three balls, three of swords. You don't need anybody else. You have whoever you're com connected to is, is who helped you through through this hard work. You you're in a good connection. This person wants in. And you don't need them anymore. <laughs> Interesting. In the extended, we'll go to the random love generated questions. And the first one is, what's going on behind the scenes in this connection that you don't know about? Oh, I wonder what Queen of Swords is saying to your person. <laughs> Clearly, there's something going on big time. Like it's this person's whole identity. Like everything, everything that was built on false pretenses is being shaken here. So we'll look into that. We'll look into what will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next two weeks. It looks like they're coming to you. Uh, so we'll see what, what that says. Uh, what does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? Interesting. I, I, I feel you're done here, but that's the question. And we'll, and we'll ask, how will the next love offer be accepted? Oh, that's a good question because I feel it's coming from them. We're going to get a spotlight into this Three of Swords. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.